I'm going on a cruise this summer with one of my favorite buddies who gets motion sick. So I got to thinking, maybe I should make a video about motion sickness tips while taking a cruise. My name's Amy, I'm a vestibular physical therapist, which means I treat dizziness, balance problems, and yes, motion sickness. So the first thing you need to consider before even planning a cruise is there are certain conditions by which you might have a higher propensity for motion sickness. Those conditions include vestibular problems such as inner ear disorders, maldebarkment syndrome, Meniere's disease, active BPPV, or even just having a little bit of congestion or a cold. If you have a history of motion sickness or any of these conditions and you're worried about getting motion sick, I might suggest a different method of travel. I also want to point out that when you go on a cruise and you feel motion sick, there's very little means to escape. Aside from leaving you on the dock in the Bahamas, it's really hard to get off that boat when you're feeling bad. If you've taken all that under advisement and you still want to take a cruise, let me give you some tips to help make it successful. First of all, you want to book your stateroom very strategically. You want to spend most of your time in an area where you can see the ocean and where the rocking of the boat is as minimized as possible. A window or even a balcony is always recommended if you're feeling motion sick so that you can go out and look at the horizon. You also want to try to book your stateroom as close to the waterline as possible because if you're really high up, you will feel the rocking of the boat more excessively. And in that same vein, you wanna be as close to the center of the boat as possible so that forward and backward rocking motions will be felt less as well. Before your cruise, you may wanna start a regimen of vestibular exercises to strengthen your equilibrium for about four to six weeks. I have a workout pinned on my page. You may also wanna get with a doctor before your cruise about starting a regimen of decongestants to avoid any kind of congestion or sinus pressure before you get on the boat. Remember to always pack an emergency kit for motion sickness. If you have some medications that a doctor has prescribed or that you've tried in the past that you know help you, bring them with you. Even if you don't have a regular tried and true medication, I would always recommend bringing some motion sickness medications such as bonine or dramamine. I usually recommend bonine because it's non-drowsy. And this is gonna sound weird, but these glasses can help reground your vestibular system when you're really off the deep end with motion sickness. You can get these on Amazon. They are the Hyon brand motion sickness glasses and they're only $7.99. I might recommend staying in your room if you're gonna wear these. <laughs> Other effective natural remedies include ginger chews, ginger gums or candies, as well as the smell of peppermint oil. And as motion sickness or any other type of dizziness is really just a balance disorder, if you feel that you're gonna fall if you get motion sick, bring your assistive devices like walkers or canes along with you in case you need them. Happy cruising and good luck out there. Follow me for more vestibular tips.